Welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing another Beb and Cool gaming remote. Now this one's different. I agreed to do this review. They sent this to me for free. I agreed to do it because the shape of it's different from the other one that I did. If you want to see the other review, which will hit some points that I won't really go deep into, especially on the gaming side. So check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the YouTube description. If you're on Amazon, just click my name and that'll carry you over into my profile and you can scan down through there and see my other review for the other controller. All right, first off, you'll notice the packaging is just like the other one was, but this box is way bigger because this remote is way bigger. So let's pull this guy out and you can see that it's a lot bigger. It actually fits in the hand a lot better. This piece here fits kind of down into your palm a lot better and you can reach over in your natural position of an adult male's hand will be right on these joysticks and right up on these top triggers here. So that's nice. In comparison to the other one that I had, it's a lot smaller as far as the grips themselves. The body's a lot thicker because this has the built-in uh, phone holder there. And this one does not, but this one does come with this little attachment here so you can mount your phone to it. So if you're going to do gaming on a tablet majority of the time, then go with this one in my opinion. If you're going to do mobile gaming, then you have an option of this over here. But you can see the joysticks are laid out a little differently. So it depends on which ones you're most familiar with. This one's in the style of the Xbox. This one appears to be more so on the style of maybe the PlayStation or something like that. So it's all personal preference when it comes to joystick placement, but you get used to uh, either one if you use it. Now, all the, all the joysticks, they do click in. Uh, these feel good. Uh, these buttons maybe are touch loose in the back, but it feels good and responsive. Um, these are better on this one, in my opinion, up here. This is a little bit... Uh, of a solid design. This one's lighter and feels a little hollowish, and that may be because, of course, this is bigger for your hands. This one's probably packed full of everything you need. Seems to weigh more over here than this one, but it's all personal preference. I like the feel of this one better as far as fatigue in the hands. If you cramp up easy on smaller controllers, then go with this one. So how this works is you run this, over through the bottom here and this snaps right down into this spot here voila finally got it and then now you're you're still got your start select and home buttons exposed and they are kind of recessed down in there they're not as uh, um, prominent as they were before so you have to actually kind of push down into the frame once you put this on but let's talk about uh, how well this this guy's made and you do you can tighten these too so that's a plus plus. and just like the other one I reviewed uh, once you have a case on here it's not gonna fit into that a thick case like this so you're kind of you're gonna have to remove your phone from the case to get this thing to work but yeah once your phone's in there it's it's pretty well in there it's not gonna go anywhere uh, it, it's top heavy when playing this one over the other one. I feel like it is. Uh, the other one brings it, the device down uh, closer to your hands a little bit more. And to give you some quick specs on this thing, it's got 400 milliamp hour lithium battery inside that'll get you over five hours of gaming continuously. You can also connect an OTG cable uh, to, to it directly to your tablet. To your phone if it accepts that so there's zero lag whatsoever it works with bluetooth 3.0 and above and there's like over 145 games free games to download on the uh, bev and cool gamepad uh, app which you can get to on your ios or android so let's just take a look at the response on a game of this thing real quick so what comes in the box too is a very specific manual a very very nice cable and long at that which you can use while you're gaming and some cards in here ask you to post a review and your guarantee which is a two-year warranty 45 day return and a 75 day replacement and you get lifetime technical support so I think you'll feel completely comfortable with purchasing this that you'll be taken care of they do get back with you really super quick Let's say you lost your instructions, right? Well, no, you have it because they're right here. Feel free to pause this thing if you want to while I flip through this. 
and it's massive, right? Good grief. There you go. Pause that if you need to. You need to see that. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, at least it's uh, written in big text, you know. To enter pairing mode for the first time, you hold X down first and then press home, and then that will put this device into pairing mode, which it should recognize as a Okay, and there it is, somewhere. There it is. B B O one. There. That's what you'll get. So it'll look like a little it'll automatically know that it's a gaming device. You'll see the little controller there, but B01. Solid light. I'm paired up. That easy. I can navigate through and say so we'll hit A and then I can pull up each thing in my app file that I've created on here. Or go back to the home screen with B. And so I can navigate around like that, which is good for VR. So if you've got this thing in your VR headset, you're trying to navigate around, B is back, A is select, and you got this little guy here that's going to maneuver around and flip through everything on your screen. See? That's cool. And whenever you want to download the Bevin Cool Gamepad, all you got to do is type in Bevin Cool, and then Bevin Cool Gamepad shows up. You can install that, and basically that's a gateway into uh, all the free games uh, that would be compatible with this controller, um, but it will work pretty much with majority of all the games that I've ever played, regardless if I go through this or not. So this is modern combat, something or another, and everything functions really well. Everything's really responsive, just like the other one was. So there's probably dealing with the same tech. There's nothing except for my horrible shooting going on, but uh, yeah, there's. You know, nothing that, that shouldn't happen with a controller in the game. So everything works great, just like the other one did. So, in closing, um, this is how you would store it. But if you don't use it, you just clip this thing down and take it right off. And, and you wouldn't need this, but it's there if you do. The only thing I could ever see happening would be this, this something happening to this piece. Because it's so, so thin there, that clip is. That's the only thing I could see ever happening to it. Um, I mean, it's just a controller. I'll turn that off. There, cut that off. But yeah, it, it's bigger than the other one. So if you, if you get cramps in your hands, go with this one over the other one. Uh, if you're gonna use this on a tablet, go with this one. The other one's more uh, small and compact and, and got the built-in uh, phone holder and everything. But you can use this as a, a, a OTG cable too, so you can directly connect to it if for whatever reason you have lag. But I've never had any lag on these. I've used it on a tablet and the cell phone. No lag. Works with Bluetooth 3.0 and up. But this is the Bevin Cool B01 controller.